Hello everyone, Darkblane here, back playing some more AFK Arena. And in this video, I want to look at the Awakened Thane. So yes, Awakened Thane is on the test server right now, the Veiled Wind. Uh, let's look at what he is here. He's a Light Bearer, they're keeping him as a Light Bearer. Uh, he is an agility-based hero. I believe the original Thane is still was an agility-based hero, so I believe they're keeping that. Uh, he is a Ranger. And also, uh, his primary role is burst damage. So yeah, I, I, I don't think they really changed too much with his uh, classification here. Uh, let's look at his skills. I'm going to start with his ultimate skill. Uh, Wind's Edge. Thane uses his blade to eviscerate his target, stunning them temporarily and slashing them four times. With each slash dealing 350% of his attack rating as damage. If the target dies or cannot be targeted by Thane's slashes, the following slashes deal damage to all enemies. Wind's Edge targets enemy heroes first. At level 2, if the enemy target remains remaining shield value is lower than 2000 of Thane's attack rating after they suffer from Wind's Edge, slashes the target's shield is removed. And at level 3, after using the Wind's Edge, the following 6 normal attacks deal additional damage equal to 10% of the health already lost by the target. Additional damage cannot exceed 600% of Thane's attack rating. So he will, uh, he will stun the target and also slash them 4 times with his blade. And yeah, he'll do quite a bit of damage here. And then also, if they have the shield and it's below 2000% of Th Thane's attack rating, the shield will be removed. Then six, the six normal attacks after the Wind's Edge will deal more damage uh, to the target. So yeah, that, that sounds pretty cool. That sounds like a pretty cool ability. Let's move on to the second uh, ability, Maelstrom. Maelstrom. When passively used, Thane's normal attacks deal 120% of his attack rating as additional wind damage to the target. When actively used, Thane swings his sword three times, dealing 240% attack rating damage per time. Following the attack, Wind sweeps the area in front, dealing 200% attack rating damage three times to enemies within range. Now level 2, additional wind damage of normal attacks is increased to 160% of Thane's attack rating. Level 3, after suffering from Maelstrom, enemies suffer from wind shear for 10 seconds. If an enemy's health is greater than 70%, they shall be unable to recover health. This effect cannot be removed. Level 4, damage dealt by the sweeping wind is increased to 240% of Thane's attack rating. And then level 5, the percentage of health at which an enemy is affected by wind shear cannot recover health is lowered to 5% and can be lowered to 30% at most. So yeah, uh, Thane's normal attacks will deal 120% of his attack rating as additional wind damage. And then when this is actively used, he will swing his sword three times and deal damage uh, per time here. And then also following the attack, the uh, wind sweeps the area in front and now deal, deal even more damage uh, three times to the enemy with that one as well. So that's, that's quite a few attacks there. When it's when this ability is actively used, so it looks like there's like a passive passive ability here, and then also there's active ability as well. And then also all these uh, additions to that uh, skill as well. Let's move on to the third skill, dueling blades. Thane locks onto a target, swinging his sword, dealing 280% attack rating damage to nearby targets, and manifests a wind vortex, excluding the locked on target. All uh, other enemies are knocked outside of the Wind Vortex when within the Wind Vortex. Thane's haste is increased by 30 points and the enemy cannot dodge his attacks. The Wind Vortex exists for 12 seconds or until Thane leaves the area. Thane will not use this skill again while a Wind Vortex still exists. After using uh, Wind's Edge or Winds of Fury, the cooldown time for Dueling Blades shall be reset. Uh, level 2, whenever a wind vortex is formed or disappears, the majority of debuff effects affecting allies are removed. If the awakening skill Wind Veil is in effect, allies within range are granted one, sh one wind veil layers. The quantity of wind veil layers cannot exceed 8. 
and level 3 damage received from uh, enemies outside the wind vortex is reduced by 60% and Bane is also immune to their control effects. Okay, so yeah, he'll summon a wind vortex and yeah, he'll do a lot of damage here. He'll gain 30 haste points. That's a lot of haste points that Thane will be given. And also the wind vortex will exist for a maximum of 12 seconds here, which is very, that's, that's quite a bit of the battle. And also with this level three, damage received from enemies outside the wind vortex is reduced by 60%. That's a lot of uh, damage mitigation here. And also the, he'll, be con he'll be immune to their control effects as well. Yeah, that this level three right here is very powerful. That seems very powerful. Let's move on to the final skill, uh, Winds of Fury. At the start of battle, Thane instantly moves in front of the enemy with the lowest health value, dealing 320% attack rating damage to them, knocking them into the air. Thane receives a shield with a value equal to 240% of his attack rating, which exists for 8 seconds. Uh, level 2, if an enemy dies 5 seconds after receiving damage from Thane, then Thane will use the Winds of Fury again. And level 3, after using Winds of Fury, Thane's energy recovery rate is re is increased by 60% for 15 seconds. This effect cannot be stacked. If the sk skill Wind Veil is active, Thane will receive two Wind Veil layers. Wind Veil effect cannot exceed eight layers. So yeah, he'll move in front of the enemy with the lowest health at the beginning of the battle and knock them into the air. And yeah, if the enemy if an enemy dies five seconds after. Uh, being damaged by Thane, this ability will be activated again. So that sounds pretty cool. And yeah, this this this, this one's a this one's a pretty simple uh, skill compared to all the other skills. So that, that that's very nice. Okay, let's move on to the awakened skill, Wind Veil. This is a passive ability. At the start of the battle, Thane receives five layers of Wind Veil, and other allied heroes receive three layers. Each Wind Veil layer increases attack ratings by 5% and crit damage amplification points by 3. When under the effects of Wind Veil, uh, if allied heroes receive damage from a single attack that exceeds 20% of their max health, they shall lose one Wind Veil layer, reducing the damage of that attack by 50%. Simultaneously, wind damage equal uh, to 220% of Thane's attack rating is dealt back at the attacking source, and the target is silenced for one and a half seconds. Uh, one Wind Veil layer shall automatically disappear every eight seconds. So, uh, uh, Wind, Veil's, Wind Veil layers will be put onto both Thane and his allies at the start of the battle, uh, increasing their stats here. And if an allied hero uh, receives damage from a single attack that exceeds 20% of their max health, they will lose one Wind Veil Lair. And also, it'll reduce the damage of that attack by 50%. And also, they'll be d the, uh, the enemy that uh, dealt that damage will be attacked uh, here by wind damage. So that's that's that sounds very nice. That sounds like a very cool ability. Yeah, he's he's reducing quite a bit of damage here uh, with his with some of his skills. And I believe his signature item and furniture uh, come from the skills, uh, upgrade the skill, Maelstrom level. Uh, after suffering Maelstrom, yeah, I believe, I, I, I think these plus 10, plus 20, and plus 30 ones are not from the skill. After suffering from Maelstrom, enemies suffer from wind shear for 10 seconds. If an enemy's health is greater than 70%, they shall be unable to recover health. Um, maybe, yeah, I, th I think all these skills are are from this uh, skills, all the signature item skills are from the actual skills here. And I believe uh, that also is the same for the exclusive furniture. Yeah, I, I believe we already looked at these. Uh, yes, I, b I believe we also, yep, we, we also looked at these uh, with the skills. So we don't have to look at those. Um, I can't remember if the engraving is also part of that. I guess we'll find out. Enhanced skill wins a fury. Enemy dies five seconds after receiving damage from Thane. Yeah, I, I believe these uh, skills are also are also in the in the skills for uh, Thane. Um, yeah, it looks like it. So I don't really have to look at uh, look at those. 
I can just go over to the Arena of Trials. I want to see how well Thane, Awakened Thane works in the Arena of Trials. Okay, here we are. The actual Arena of Trials is not up yet, so I can go ahead and test, uh, test him with the Wind Dummy. Let's go ahead and uh, begin the Wind Dummy battle first. And I have the battle not on times two speed, so we can see the skills here. And there we go. Moving around the uh, battlefield, dealing damage to the enemies. There's his ultimate skill. That did that did quite a bit of damage to these guys there. Took out both of those, both of those guys there. And there again, there it is again. Took out all three of them. That ultimate ability seems uh, very powerful. And, yeah, he's he's moving around the battlefield uh, pretty quickly here. There we go once again. He he's doing his ultimate ability quite a lot. In this in the span of time here as well yeah seems seems like seems like he's gaining quite a bit of energy very very quickly here which is very nice to see he's gaining a lot of energy yeah his the the way he looks as well he looks very cool I, I really like uh, how he looks his blue hair reminds me of uh, Yukio because I because Yukio I believe has blue hair yeah, his blue hair reminds me of Yukio, and he has a little ice bird on his shoulder as well. Yeah, he looks he looks uh, very cool, and his, his skills look very nice as well. Okay, let's see how he uh, works against the Arena Guardian, because th th those those enemies are pretty weak. Let's look at the Arena Guardian. Um, I'm not quite sure if he'll work best in the front line or in the back line here. Um. I'm, I'm going to put him in the back line, see how he works there. Also, we have Audrey. I might just put Audrey in uh, this corner, see how see how Audrey works there. I um, guess we'll go with Hodgkin, and let's put, let's put Nara there. Um, I might put Nara up in the, the corner to try to take out that uh, Rowan. And I guess we'll go with I guess we'll go with Estrelda. There we go. Okay, let's see how well this uh, battle works. We have the the three and two uh, union bon or faction bonus there on the top, so that that should help us a little bit here. And let's let let's see how well the Awakened Thane does with uh, this battle. And the other Mishka's already gotten an ultimate ability, but we've already gotten an ultimate ability. We already took out Lorzen. Already took out Lorzen there. That ultimate ability took out Lorzen, I believe. That that was powerful. That looked really powerful. We already took it down. That was insane. That's insane. Over 4 million damage. The closest one to that is Audrey, and she didn't even do half she didn't even do half that. She didn't even do half of what the Awakened Thane did. That that was insane. That that, that was so powerful. That looked so cool. Um, yeah, and there's the hero info there, along with the battle statistics. That was insane. A great job from the Awakened Thane taking that one down. That was that was very cool. So yeah, that looks to be all the skills for Aw the Awakened Thane. I think he's gonna do very well. He looks very good. Here, I guess we're going to have to see how well he does within AFK Arena, like in the campaign and in the King's Tower and all that. I guess we'll have to see how well he does. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe. There'll be a button above my head that will allow you to do that. And if you want to see some more of my other videos, there'll be some videos to the left of your screen. And thanks for watching.